Yeah, um, I first learned about jiu-jitsu, I mean, actually probably like like 99% of the rest of the world, you know, from, from the Ultimate Fighting Championship. Really, it's just um, a matter of, of keeping your mind sharp, staying relaxed, and, and, and remembering what it is you're supposed to do, and just getting as much mat time in as possible. The rhythm that you need to use in a fight, you know, it's the same with performing live. Like, Rocket knows a lot, it's all about breathing. It's all about staying relaxed, staying focused. For me, uh, hip hop has always been kind of a, a, a verbal and a mental and a spiritual jujitsu. As far as getting my blue belt, it, it was a while. You know that that white to blue is a is a journey, man. There's a lot to learn. When I did get my blue, you know, it was a, it was actually very humble. I mean, for a lot of people, they probably would have been popping champagne or something. For me, it was like a very very quiet, humbling experience. You know, it let me know that I was on the right track, but it just showed me that I still had a long, long way to go. So. You know, I went home, you know, jumped in the mirror, threw it on on my gi and everything, made sure it was real crispy, and then I was ready to set up a new class right away. And then purple was the same thing, you know, I might be training with Henner and then Hiron will come in and ask to, you know, try something real quick, and you can tell they're trying to see if you're ready to, to take that step. But at, at a certain point, not too much later, I was tapped on the shoulder and handed the purple belt, man, and you know, hopefully I, I got at least two or three more to go. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm bugging with flashbacks, struggling.